Hey everybody and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about eye contact and how to get your characters to look at each other to add some realism to your renders. Before we get started, just wanted to say thank you again to everybody who subscribed. We're now a Nat Winky away from 500, which is absolutely mind blowing. I can't believe so many people are interested in watching my content. It's awesome. Uh, if you haven't yet done so, feel free to drop down and hit that subscribe button. Maybe hit the bell notification icon. Give us a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any topics you'd like me to discuss, whether they're whether Rempi or dad studio or anything along those lines feel free to let me know in the comments and i will do my absolute best to accommodate you so let's jump right into this so what we've got here is we've got a scene i'm going to jump into i've got a couple of cameras set up and as you can see these two characters are supposedly having a conversation and Having the characters facing each other is one thing. It certainly helps add to the realism, but as you can see here, the eye contact just isn't there. This guy's looking down at her tummy, and if we flip into the other camera, you can see she kind of almost looks like she's looking at him, but she's really not. She's more looking off over his shoulder. So we need to get these guys to look at each other in order to enable us to just create a little bit more realistic looking renders. So there's two ways of doing this. Um, well, actually, no, there's, there's several ways of doing this. There's two correct ways of doing this, and then there's several wrong ways of doing this. If you're new to Death Studio, you've probably gone in and explored the pose controls for the character. So if we just minimize this stuff, you can come in into your pose controls. You can go to your head and you can see the controls for the eyes are in there and you can move them up and down and left and right and all that but you will generally find that that's not only very time consuming but it's also very difficult to get it spot on there's a much much easier way of doing that and if you've watched all my videos you've probably seen me use this technique once maybe twice but what we're going to do is we're going to look at the two correct ways of doing it so the first method is what we need to do is come up to the top bar here between the group and the new primitive button there's one called create a new null so we're going to click on that we're just going to call this null one we're just going to put null one in both of these and we're going to apply the default settings like so and as you can see a new widget has appeared a new universal move tool and what this is, is a null is a fixed point in space that has no form, i.e. you won't be able to see it in the render. It's just a null object in 3D space. So if we move this up, move it to about his eye level, we're going to check it from the left hand side. We're going to get a little bit closer, like so. And we're going to make sure that it's roughly where his eyes are. Now we're going to flip up onto the top and we're going to make sure that it's correct along the X axis as well. So that it's in the center of his head, like so. Now, if we look in the scene tab, that null exists here as an object and it's just a set of coordinates essentially. So what we can now do is if we jump into our camera B, like so, and we select our character's eyes, like so, here we go, pop up give us the left eye we come to the top property here and you can see there's a point at option here so we're going to select that and we're going to change that to null one and then we're going to do the same thing for the right eye like so null one null one and when we click off she is now looking exactly at that object so if we were to render this scene she'd be making dead on eye contact with our character so let's say we're in a scenario where we want these characters to always be talking to one another. We don't want to have to keep moving this null object every time we change his pose or his position. So what we can do is if we select his head, we can now parent this null object to his head like so. And let's just go back to our camera B so that we can see her eyes. Now if we were to select our Dave character and move him along the x-axis you can see now that the null object is now a part of his head and that her eyes will continuously follow they'll be continuously looking at that 
So in that scenario, that's probably the best way of doing it because as I say, their eyes will now remain fixed on each other's eyes if you were to repeat the object and create a new null object for Dave to look at and attach it to Nikki's head. However, what we want to be able to do is now let's create a scenario where they aren't always going to be making eye contact. You want to be able to perhaps move their eyes to somewhere else in the scene, but you still want to be able to control easily exactly what they're looking at. And there's actually another really easy way of doing that. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a camera and we're going to apply the default settings. We're going to call this one camera and we're going to call it Dave look and we're just going to select that and we're going to put that in there as well seem to have Dave look twice now there we go click accept so now we've got a default camera here um, which is going to be our fixed point for Dave to look at so we're going to jump into camera a momentarily and we're going to select Dave's eyes like so and we're now going to point these at camera Dave look now you could do this with a null object as well if you really wanted to but the benefit of doing it with a camera is that you can control this camera's position much easier than you can a null object so if we did want him to be making eye contact with Nikki we can just simply move the camera in first person mode until we're pretty much exactly in the right place and then if we go to camera a you can see that he's now looking at the x and y coordinates of that camera and the benefit of this method is that if you don't want them to be looking at each other let's say you want him to be looking down at her knees or her feet or something like that you can just move the camera down there in first person view jump back into camera a and as you can see he's now looking down there instead so that's really all there is to both these methods you can sort of see the benefits of using each one in different scenarios it's always worth having a bit of a play and seeing what you can achieve i hope you found this video useful i look forward to seeing your comments in the section below have a great day see you soon Bye bye